Hello everybody and welcome to another quick tip video. Today I'm going to talk about how to build an animated lower third file so it's set up and ready to be used with your Blackmagic video switcher. Now for this demo I'm going to be using Motions, but you don't have to use Motion. You can use any software like Photoshop or After Effects or anything like that as long as you can render out an image sequence and an alpha channel. One last thing before we start, I want to let you know that I'm going to show you two different methods. One, if you're going to make an animated lower third that automatically loops, and one, if you're going to build an animated lower third that has a build-in and build-out sequence attached with it. Today I want to talk about how to set up a file for an animated lower third for your Blackmagic switcher. We're using a digital juice animation. I will put the link in the description for digital juice uh, in case you want to check them out. We use a lot of them. I love their work. So as you can see, there's already a burn in and a burn out built in this animation. So right here, you can see it builds itself in and here you can see it builds itself out. Now the center part of this between these two little green uh, lines is where it constantly loops. So basically this is two animations in one. If I want an animation that has a build in and a build out, I have that. If I will need an animation that constantly loops, I have that as well. Now, to be able to build out both of these and save the project files, you need to go up to where it says share, click on other, click on export image sequence. All right, inside the export window, we have a few options. The first thing we're gonna wanna choose is right here where it says export, we're gonna wanna choose PNG image. That's going to give us our alpha channel layer. The next thing we're gonna wanna choose is our duration. We're gonna use use play range the use play range is from this green line to this green line so it only gives us that looping image now to be able to select that we did have to move our playheads right here into that area if we choose the other option entire project that's going to give us our build in and our build out and our loop but for this example we're going to use play range the next thing we're going to do is click here and we're going to make sure that in the color setting we have color plus alpha selected uh, the summary tab we really don't have to worry about then we click next we're going to export it to our desktop and we'll be back as soon as it's finished exporting so now as you can see the file has appeared on my desktop we're done exporting we have each individual frame here ready to be brought into our black magic switcher to learn how to do that, check out my other video I made last week. I will leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching today's quick tip video. If you liked it, remember to give us a big thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and make sure you are subscribed. It really helps us while we're building our community. But most importantly, dream big, think positive, and always be you.